Well, I have with me right now Pat Lozellas. Pat is uh, with Area 5 Special Olympics. And I just got a quick education, and I'm hoping maybe some of you will shortly. Um, if nothing else, there's some myths out there I'm finding out. Um, Special Olympics, I, I've learned, is way, way more than the summer games in Mount Pleasant and a plunge in a really, really cold lake. That's right. <laughs> so, Pat, share a little more about what you do all your life. Okay, we are Area 5 Special Olympics, and we represent four counties, Makasha, Osceola, Nuevo, and Oceana. We have approximately 95 athletes total in the four counties. And contrary to what people think, that Summer Games in Mount Pleasant is the only big event we do, we are a year-round sports program for our athletes. So we run in Area 5 about 18 different sports year-round. Isn't that something? 18. So what are the kids doing this time of year with the snow flying? Well, right now we're getting ready for snowshoes for winter games. After that will be basketball, and then we get into summer sports, and swing, bowling, track and field, you name it. And then we continue on into floor hockey. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, it's just year-round. We finish one sport, start another. And it's, it's those of us with kids, you know, it's hard to keep them pinned down, but especially in the environment that you participate in. Yeah, lots and lots of energy, lots of love. And yeah. it's really, really a fun experience for you too, isn't it? Oh, it definitely is. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I was just going to ask you that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we, we were both there. <laughs> but it's an awesome experience. And like I said, we always can use volunteers. Chaperones, coaches, we talk about the different events. And once you come and volunteer one time, you're usually a so. <laughs> We talk about donating all different levels, not just financial, but time and talents and so forth. Yeah, this is a prime right. example of, you know, spend an afternoon with a group of really, really special kids, and you've got a new pastime. That's right. And you made new friends, and you just love everybody. So it's awesome. Is there an easy way to get in touch with you guys, or how do people sure. get signed up? You can contact me directly. The phone number is 231-527-5238. Or you can email me at area05 at sony.org. Or you can reach our website at www.sony.org. Now, if you really, really want to go the other route and throw some money along with it, Tell me a little more about the Polar Plunge, when it is, where it is, and how that's going to work. Okay. Our biggest fundraiser of the year is our annual Polar Plunge. Um, for the second year, well, yeah, second year in a row, we will be holding it in downtown Big Rapids, across from Pocket Park. We will have a pool. For a minimum donation of $100, you have the privilege of jumping in the water. <laughs> All in good for the athletes of our area. Of course, you can raise more. We have incentive items for the more money that you raise. We will have a party at the Alps. This is on February 26th in downtown Big Rapids. Um, party at the Alps Club after, where we give awards out for the most money raised. But we also have a costume. So we will have judges from throughout the surrounding area like the mayor of Houston Town. <laughs> uh, we have news people, business owners that will be judging. And the best costume, you will get the Golden Plunger Award. Now, now, does that costume need to be more than a red, squishy nose? They've had one, they've had one, they've had one. Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> But I can I can get Dave Hamlin dressed up in a red squishy nose and he can, for a hundred dollars take yeah. a plunge in a pool. Sure, you can do that, Dave. <laughs> I think he may have access to some other costumes we could use there as well. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into that later. But it's a funny event, and like I said, it's our biggest fundraiser of the year, so it supports our athletes with their program. Like I said, we're year-round sport. We also offer health and wellness opportunities, different health classes and things for our athletes. So. And what you do for these kids, and I say kids, but you know, you would go up to basically what age group? We start at, you have to be eight years old to join Special Olympics, and there's no end age limit. So we have athletes that are, I've got an athlete who is, oh, I just see now, 
She's in her 70s. Oh, isn't that? She was, she is the only athlete in the area here that has been with Special Olympics. She celebrated 50 years. She was at the first Special Olympics competition in Chicago in 1968. And that's why you keep coming back, isn't it? They're in their 70s. I have another one that still does uh, horseshoes. Stands there with his walker. <laughs> but they're older, but they're still our kids. We love them. Now, again, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself because it's a, it's a broken record time. You know, obviously, the community folks that are coming out here to support everybody today are so, so appreciated. But the opportunity, I think, as fellow nonprofit organizations to get to know a little bit about our fellow nonprofits and you know share whatever talents and time they've got. Well even for a hundred bucks get a chance to go swimming in February. I think we should all sign up. What do you think? <laughs> We'd love to see you there. Well, well Pat thanks so much for being here today. Well thank you all for having me.